Hey Dietra. So let's um, do a little video critique and show you a little Photoshop at the same time. So I have Photoshop open and I've loaded in uh, this picture of yours. Um, the first question I always ask if is color an important part of this picture? Is it about color? And if it's not, or the, the color isn't particularly um, attractive, I guess, um, maybe a good plan is to immediately take it over to grayscale, black and white. So let's do that. So I come up to the top here and say image, mode, grayscale, and then discard the color. So what is the first impression that we have here? Where's the focal point? Well, it's a strong diagonal, but the main interest of the picture is this cool reflection here. And how is the contrast? How are the values? How are the blacks, the whites? Where is the light in the picture? And is there anything that takes our eye away from that? So my first impression is it's very low contrast. It's gray. So I'm going to use levels. And the first thing I want to do to pump up all the contrast is go Image, Adjustment, Levels. And the levels gives you a histogram here which allows us to richen up those black tones and darken down the mid-tones because uh, also this was just kind of too bright in here. And now uh, it's getting better so this is an area of interest so let's select it and brighten it up a little bit. So I'm taking the third tool down, the lasso, and highlighting or, or selecting right through here. And then we have to feather or blend this in. So right now, it's uh, it, if I were to lighten it, it would leave a, a hard edge here, like I cut it out with scissors. So you click Select and Mask at the top. And then over on the right, <clears throat> Feather. And blend that in until it starts to blend back quite a bit, even more than that. Okay. Um, then I like to hide this with a Control H, just so I can get it out of the way when I I toggle it on and off with a Control H. And the shortcut for levels again is Control L. So I just pop the levels back and bringing in some light into the. reflective area here. And then the top edge is a little bit light. So if I darken that and this edge too, same deal. Select it, feather it. When I darken, I like to use Image Adjustment Brightness Contrast. Like that. Because when it, the light areas to the edges takes your eye away from the action. So let me do this some more. It's a bit like sculpting. You do an, a move and then you evaluate it and then figure out what else you want to do. That's better. <clears throat> so, um, kind of interesting. So let's see the difference here. This was how uh, you posted the picture. And this is what we have now. See the difference? In this shot too, it's um, low contrast. Um, it looks like the resolution is fairly low. See how um, you don't have much detail in here? And I think the reason for that is because you're zooming in with your phone. And you see how a little detail. Um, it's important not to use a digital zoom on a phone because it, it just is using a smaller and smaller portion of an already tiny sensor. And uh, the quality gets degraded very, very rapidly. But anyway, uh, same idea, Control-L. 
go into levels, adjust the values to bring up the contrast here, figure out the focal point, which is this, feather it back. Okay, I'm going to invert this selection. That's uh, there's a shortcut that I'm using, but you would say select inverse right here. These are your select all, deselect, inverse the selection, and hide it, and control H, and darken it. And um, let me just bring a little bit more light into the center then. Control L for levels. Bring a little more light in here. Tighten up the blacks a little bit. Okay. So here's the the original that's a low contrast and not taking advantage of the light that's here. And here's the improved version. Once again, is color important to this? Probably not. So we can go image mode, grayscale, flatten it, and discard the color. Hmm. Still, there's a couple of problems, but I'm not going to work harder on this. But mostly the low resolution is um, what's weakening this the most. Um, bring in one more. So I copied the picture by right-clicking on it over on the blog, and then I go File New. Oops, not open. File New. Create. Control V or Edit Paste. Now this one has some nice inherent contrast already because of the metallic stainless steel here reflecting light. So there's good interest in that. Uh, its reflection's interesting, so why don't we work on that a little bit. Bring this up by making a selection, feathering it back, and using levels. First I'm going to hide it, Control H, Control L for levels, and bring up some light in here. I'm going to take a couple of shot, uh, shots at it here. <clears throat> Again, uh, is it color? Is it about color? Is color important to this? Also, I'm going to crop out the sky here a little bit. So the one, two, three, four, fifth tool on the left is the crop tool. Let me clear this out and bring this up and in right here. I'm just cropping out that little chunk of sky. There's a little more there. So image mode, grayscale. <clears throat> Deselect everything, control L, tighten up the blacks just a little more. Give it a little little pizzazz here. So here's the original. It's already much better than some of your others because of the metal. Uh, but here it's tightened up even more. All right, that does it for this one. See you on the on the blog.